Yeah! I be chicken from coming back at you from the mic again with Say Say. Say Say the way way you fuck up. Yo, we got another not perfect war coming at you. Yeah. We missed about two war stars. We're gonna dig right up into the action, see what actually really happened here. Um, really, yeah, we'll show that if we got time, but let's check out C4 doing the number one attack. He went in with the Lava Loon attack, and you're going to notice on this attack that he went in at 12 o'clock. You may be asking, why 12 o'clock? Well, you see this AD defense right here? That's his main focus right there. And you're going to see what he does here. A very nice funnel coming in from homie. do 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 wall breakers. All right, so he's getting everything cleared. He's got everything everything pretty much cleared. The boys coming in the background as well as the king and queen doing work. He's going to rage them right about now. Rage them right about now. Rage them right about now. Okay, so he doesn't rage them. But that's okay because apparently he wants to save them for his loons. So that's cool. So the king and queen really did not go where they were supposed to go. <laughs> Nice attack, Caleb! Just kidding. They got that one AD right here, so that's all that matters. Now they got the other one coming in. Now he's going to do his attack. Now notice the formation he takes. I don't really know why he likes to spread them out as much as he does, but, you know, it's whatever. It's his attack. He can Look do whatever Look at all wants. those balloons. Lava loon. Lava, 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 la lava hounds, and then... Loon. They are... All right, so there's a nice awesome. funnel here for sure. Um, kind of dangerous with the clumping, but it doesn't seem to really be a factor at the end. They clumped really close together, and normally, you know, with the wizard tower being up, it would, like, launch him down. But, luckily, he didn't really have a whole bunch of wizard towers over here to deal with. So, we're gonna, the rest is just a clean up. His lava pup got popped at the end. It's pretty much easy as pie after that. That last wizard tower fell down, and a nice three star. Very nice, Caleb, very nice. Nice cleanup troops and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Good job, man. Good job. GG, no re. <clears throat> Next awesome. attack, also coming in for... Nope, it's actually Warrior this time. Warrior getting a three-star number four. His mirror base. Let's see what he does here. He's going to go in with just uh, a Valkyrie raid, which is nice to do. Um, That's normally his attack of choice here. Now he sends in... He sends in the... Uh, Wow, he sends in the Pekka's pretty early there. But, I mean, if it works... If it ain't broke, don't try to fix it! So he gets the Pekka's going on the outside, and then he gets um the one Pekka inside as well as the Valkyrie. So he puts the heal on. Um, A lot of people will die because of the dragon just having too much attacking power. But then he gets the Wizards coming in right behind, and they'll be there momentarily. And then the heal they go. The Valkyrie's doing work in the middle of the core, which is great they went there, that's for sure. I was not sure that they were going to turn in, but they turned in very nicely, so good job with that. Um, We still got the Queen going on the outside. She's about to bite the dust. We got the outside troops doing what they need to do. We got the inside troops doing what they need to do. He's got no more. Okay, that was his last heal. But, I mean, at this point, there's no CC left. He's got all of his Valkyries left. Well, a good handful of Valkyries left. I mean, it's pretty much easy pickings from here. Right, Sarah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Easy, easy we, we got, like, mow the grass, mow the lawn. Yeah, that's what they're doing right now, as they're you can see. The First, they got to clean up the mess. Then they mow the lawn, and then they're good to go. That is just lovely. Very well done, Sarah. Very oh, yeah. well done. Thank you. This is an attack I did. I guess I'll show my attack. My attacks are never very special, but here you go. This oh, is a three-star. Yes, um, I normally special. don't like showing my attacks, but whatever, I'll show this one. So what I did, I took two of the um, special troops, the Frozen Wizards, because I knew that um, that what was going on right here is the core right there. Like This is the section I wanted to get really into. Um, I knew that the Wizards were going to need to freeze a couple of people, or freeze a couple of defenses, just, just to slow them down enough. And it worked to my perfection, actually. It was really nice raid i sent my bowlers in right after i know that the cc troops are getting locked on by my queen and wizards and then i put my little raid spell down as well as my um my jump spell because i know if i put my jump spell right where i did they can go over that wall that wall and then this wall right here and they get the expos and that's the target right there for 
that part is just targeting the expos and both of them went down like clockwork and i cleaned up with my eight little hogs which are Aww. eight little hogs of greatness they so cute and hoggish they are just adorable and i put this last heel notice where i put this last heel i'm about to put this last heel right here and because i do you'll see exactly why like hold on you see why I did that? I put in there because I knew that everybody was going to really rally at that position and all the troops from up top were going to go there. And it all worked out in the end. So three star, just nice and clean up. And yeah, it's a simple raid. I mean, it's kind of a rushed um, town hall nine, but I still got it. And the walls were kind of decent. So, you know, it's whatever. But that was my little three star. And we're going to take a look at Mandolphin. He had the top two diff most difficult ones. First, we're going to take a look at Kaka, um, see what he does. He's kind of had a spread open base, and this was kind of a very hard base to kind of judge. But he decides to go in with the um, Giants to see what's going to happen here. Does a little flow. Whoa. Yeah. Look at them all. Look at them all go. He goes in with the Giants, and um, he does a little... A little... Uh, I don't know what you really call it, but he goes ham with the uh the wall breakers. Holy cow, it's hard uh -huh. to say their name sometimes. Uh -huh. Wall breakers. You got a nice funnel coming in. The CC troops are about to just destroy. I mean, just destroy these giants. And if these giants were destroyed as fast as they got destroyed, then maybe there was hope for this raid. But because those giants just fell really quick, and not only that, but the hogs as well. I mean, it was a wrap after that. I mean, the CC needs to die i mean and i think there was actually a way to lure this base out i don't know i didn't attack it so i don't really know but anyways nice effort kaka i mean you tried it's just the little things in life you got to focus on and you know that's that was one of the big things just kind of like i can't believe oh and then she died right there but yeah all in all nice raid i mean we didn't lose so i can't really give you crap about that plus you did better than i would have done on that so and this was kind of a really difficult raid right here this is mandolphin coming in and he lures the cc but you're gonna notice something very interesting about this tag and check this out okay so he pulls him back up to the top up here right mm -hmm. you see that yeah puts the bombs in so far so good yeah so what happened then why did it fail then because right now it looks great it looks he did a better flow than what i did on this attack like completely why didn't it work why didn't it work and I like that one hog he puts in right behind there. Even though he dies, it's still nice. Why didn't it work? Well, let's take a look. Okay, so he has them all clumped up right here. He puts the one heel down right now. Okay, so he puts that one heel down now. Um, he's still got two poisons, so he's still got that. He's still got a lot to work with. Now you see the middle. Okay, now notice the middle right here. They should have been healed right about now because it's it's. He's still got a quite a few um. Quite a few hogs right here. So if he would have healed a little bit more sooner, it would have been a completely different raid. But because it was waited a little bit too long, you're going to notice that they kind of just sat there taking up. And the heal just it came a little bit too late when there was only a couple more hogs left. And if it was a little bit sooner, like just a little bit sooner, it probably would have went better. But, I mean, all in all, man, Dolphin, you did a valiant effort. Like I said, did better than I could have done. So good job, man. Um, all in all, just a great raid. And that was pretty much a victory for us. Now, the great thing about this war is we are actually on a streak again. And we need help, guys. We need we need good attackers, like better attackers on our squad. I mean, we already have great attackers, but we need better attackers. So please, please, please um, hit us up. We need the good people to actually come and actually say, hey, we're here to stay. I mean, look, this guy left the clan. I mean, I'm sure he wasn't even good. But yeah, he wasn't even good. But we need people to stay. We need people that are active, and we need people that want to actually war. So if that's you, come on over to Night Warriors. We'll accept you. Um, we had a couple things we need to ask, but blah, blah, blah. I mean, we're really just looking for Town Hall 10s and Town Hall 9s right now, but if you're a Town Hall 8, pretty maxed up, come on over, and we'll see if we can fit you in. Um, I mean, there's nothing really special going on in the, in the raids that we got. I mean, whatever. If you, if you bring something to the table and you're like, hey man, this is what I want to do. I got, I got a proposition for y'all. And I'm like, okay, let's hear the proposition. You're like, I'll three star every single time if you put me in the war. And we're like, okay, that seems like a pretty legit thing to do. If that's you, then come on over because we could use your help. 
And, you know, um, Sam, would you like to say anything? Or are you just, like, well, chilling? Well, I would like to say that if you let me in your clan, I will get I will get four stars on all of my attacks. Really? You sound like Donald Trump. <laughs> I'm a builder Why do you always have to talk about Arda, freaking Donald Arda. Trump? No, because Donald Trump is a legend. Because he, he, he was... The reason why Donald Trump is a legend is because he was able oh to God. confuse all the Americans... And to make them think, yes, Donald Trump can actually make this happen. Now he's going to actually try to have to make this happen. He ain't going to do a stinking thing. I mean, I'm not a Donald Trump hater because I kind of supported Donald Trump. But now it's coming to the point where, no, I'm just saying. Bringing in the politics. It doesn't, I don't give a crap. Donald Trump is legend because he was able to confuse all of America. And therefore, Donald Trump is legend to me. I mean, you know, Hillary Clinton confused everybody. When she even wanted to no, say... No, she scared everybody. No, she confused everybody when she said, yeah, I'm running again. And everybody's like, why? And then she's like, because I'm going to win this time. And then all the Hillary supporters were like, oh, no. We lost. Let's flip cars. Anyways, that's, in the whole <laughs> league. that's a totally different yeah. discussion. But, Let's flip cars. I mean, but anyway, I don't know. They're both, they were both sorry. crazy. I mean, really, America, you really screwed up this time. But anyways, back to the clan. Um, guys, yeah, we need some support, so come on over, give us a like, give us a sub- uh, subscription, we love it, my subscriptions are free, like, you cannot go wrong with free, and I'm a nice guy, and I love to give advice where it's needed, just not on this game, so if you just like in- getting entertained, then come on over, um, but <laughs> we got much better attackers in the clan than myself, and I'm not gonna be here and tell you I'm the best attacker, Unless I become the best attacker. I don't know if that will ever oh. happen, but I don't think so because I I just, I don't know. There's a whole bunch going on. But I'm a really good attacker in Balloon TD and Mobile Legends, so if you guys want to get good at those two games, hit me up. I'll show you how to get good at them. But anyways, this has been another Clash of Clans War recap. Thank you so much for your... um attentiveness and your willingness to watch the channel share subscribe and like and comment thank you so much and this has been av chicken loop coming right at you again from the golden mic peace out guys thanks